All right, so I'm just gonna really quickly chuck this on here right before the video gets started. And those C-Note speakers just look awesome. If you aren't following my Instagram already though, go follow it at Doublesome. With that being said, guys, enjoy the video. All right, so in today's video, I'm gonna be installing this Dayton Audio 60 Watt Class D full range 2.1 plate amplifier with Bluetooth. And I'm reading that straight off the box in the back of this C-Note speaker, which I previously built on my channel. And it can be purchased from Parts Express for $100 in a knockdown kit. And trust me, they sound way better than $100. So why am I sticking this amplifier in the back of the speaker? Well, if we take a look around my room over here, if we've seen in a last video of mine, I installed a system in this room which consists of an, a Kenwood amplifier down here and a CV2800 up there. Now this 60 watt Class D amplifier has a subwoofer out, so what I intend on using is the Dayton C-Note speakers instead of those Canton speakers up there at the back of the room and then using the sub out to go straight into the CV2800 so I don't need to use that Kenwood amplifier. And then I'll move the CV2800 down to where the Kenwood amp is just down there, purely because the vibrations of the subwoofers are definitely shaking the CV2800s and I don't think it's good for them. So I'm gonna be reducing the amount of vibration going through them substantially by moving the amps down the bottom. But anyway, back onto the topic of today's video, let's install this amplifier in the back of the C-Note speakers I just built. All right, so the first thing that we are going to want to do is have a look at the amplifier itself and get it out of the box. So here it is just here, nice cardboard packaging. And inside we have the Bluetooth antenna and instructions as well as the infrared plug that covers where the infrared goes on the front of the cabinet. Now, I'm actually gonna be installing the infrared of mine actually just putting it out the port and hoping for the best with the remote because I don't want to drill a hole in the front of this speaker. I am really happy with how the finish showed out and I just want to leave it that way. So my intention is to just put it out of the port and if it means I have to get closer to the back of the box with the remote, so be it. But that is what I'm going to do in today's video with that. All I need to do is get the measurements of the back of this, measure it out on the back of the C-Note speaker itself, and then just cut it out with a jigsaw and plug everything in and solder it up. It is simple, easy, and I'm excited to do it because I cannot wait to see the end product. All right, so here I've got the back of the amplifier. I'm gonna be just using this metal ruler just here to measure it. And by the looks of things, we need a cutout that is nine centimeters by, if we have a look at the other side, nine centimeters by 14. So that appears to be the cutout. I'll double check on Parts Express's website because I know they have everything listed on there and then I will go straight on with the jigsaw, marking out the back of the box and cutting it out. And I'm just actually really excited to see how well this amplifier works. So let's do that now and mark out the back of the box. All right, so I've now checked on Parts Express's website and I was very, very close to the numbers that I thought. So now what I'm gonna do is actually remove the drivers from the C-Note kit here. Uh, just to make room when I can put the speaker face down and know that I'm definitely not scratching any of the components and I will have to remove them whilst I am using the jigsaw. That way I can prevent getting sawdust and things trapped in the voice coils and so on. All right, so I now have the terminals removed out of the back of the box and now it's time to mark it out and get ready to cut it out and put that little amplifier inside the box. All right, and now as we can see, I've done a very terrible job drawing out the top, but it is the perfect size and location for me to chop this amplifier out and stick it in there. So let's pre-drill some holes and get the jigsaw out and begin chopping. Right, and after using so many tools, I finally have the amplifier hanging about in the back of the box. So now let's plug it in, 
hook it up, replace where the amplifier itself that I'm using currently is, and let's use this amplifier and see how it performs. All right, and here we are with the end product. As we can see, we have the C-Note speaker just sitting up there looking awesome. And I've also now moved my CV2800 and Behringer EQ, so they're just laying on their sides right beside it so they're not copying all the vibrations. Now, I apologize for the mess in my room just here, but if we move our way over to the left side of the room here, there is in fact the other C-Note speaker, and I am surprised with how well the remote actually works on the back now, even considering that the speaker um, receiver for the remote is on the back. And we can see if I press the volume, the volume turns straight up and straight down. It is perfect. This is the exact system I want in this room and it's exactly how it's gonna stay. So there it is, the installation of the 60 watt Class D Dayton audio plate amplifier. I definitely recommend it. It works awesome. The sub out feature is excellent and I'm able to power two dual 18, uh, sorry, two, nope, not anymore, unfortunately, but I'm able to power out of that into an EQ, into an amp and into my subs without having to worry about running an actual receiver. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure you stick a like on it. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't already for some reason. Uh, but with that being said, guys, I'll see you in the next video and I hope you enjoyed this one.